Hello everyone, it's Frances with Your Book of Memories. Thank you so much for joining me for this new project share. Oh my goodness, I'm really super excited about this. I created a new design and it is a clutch folio. So that's what I'm gonna call it. I had so much fun making this and I do have a tutorial available on my website. And again, it comes with every part of the tutorial, okay? And it's only a one-time purchase and you have forever access to it. Super easy to view. It comes with a cut list, okay? All right, so if you'd like to see kind of the way my tutorials work, I'm gonna go ahead and play a little preview of it for you just so you can get the feel of the style and if it's something that you can learn from. So I'll go ahead and play that after we go through this book. I'm so super excited. I used the gorgeous Rhapsody designed by Tracy Smith photo play paper collection. Wonderful, comes, comes with one cut apart page and one 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet. This is all I used. I just used this and some embellishments from Hobby Lobby. And this is so cute because I attached some things right here and I've got this really super cute leather handle, very inexpensive. Here's some stash brads I used. This was, I believe, Graphic 45, okay? I'm sure you guys have a lot of Graphic 45 stuff. I used an eyelet right here and some cotton twine to attach this super cute chain that I only got for a dollar at Hobby Lobby. So super inexpensive, super compact book. This holds at least 40 photos and it comes together in one day. I've got a super cute little feather, okay? Thank you so much, Annette. She sent me these charms. Look at this super cute camera, totally fitting for this. And then we've got this really cute jewel right at the end right here, this blue one. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness, and those little feathers, I can't get over it. Oh my goodness, I hope you love it as much as me. I do have a magnet closure right here, and it's super strong, okay? So you open this up. I'm gonna try to fit this in frame as best I can, okay? So you flip this down. We've got a side pocket. I did use my envelope punch board right there to create that notch. Beautiful four by six photo space right there. Unbelievable stickers absolutely in love and then we've got this awesome four by four little waterfall right here okay it holds four by four pictures super cute little piece out of the cut aparts i attached this little strip right there and this just folds down and you got photo space right on the inside of here journaling right on the top beautiful i go start to finish with you 100 percent all the way through you guys know how my tutorials are so here is this i've got an awesome little window page right here super cute got a place for a photo right inside there. Another four by four photo space and a couple stickers. These fold down, okay? Like I said, I'm gonna have to really kind of move this around. Here's another four by four photo space right there, as well as another little window pocket. Okay, beautiful access from below. And then we've got this page. So it's kind of like its own little small page and we've got tags in here. Super cute little journaling lines right there, chalk marker action and super cute stickers right here, places for three by three photos. Okay, and that folds down. And you got the same thing on the back here. Okay, wonderful. We also have another picture right here, another little window, super cute little plastic. I love this, tiny little tag page. Super cute, my goodness. These are little stickers right here, but look how adorable. Okay, and those just all go back inside there. I'm gonna show you how to make the Brad closures and everything. Super cute, these fold down. Another place for a photograph right here, just barely trimmed down a four by six photo right there. And then this super cute little envelope. Look how beautiful. And my son, Samson, came up with such a cute way to decorate around. This was totally his idea. You see the outside texture on here? He is so cute, I love him. It adds a really unique look to a very simple cut apart. I just couldn't believe it. I was just amazed that he came up with that. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to show everybody. Closes just like this, and I show you how to mat everything very nicely. Okay, you fold these down. Now I've got another window page, access at the bottom, another four by four photo spot right there, four by six, couple three by threes, super cute stickers. Fold this down, and again, we've got access right down here for more photographs. Now that brings us up here. Okay, we've got a super cute little sticker right there, some more over here, as well as over here. I had a little journaling spot right there. And we've got stacked pockets. So here's what's inside there. More gorgeous, look at the potential. If you can see these little designs on here, it's just absolute genius. Samson just opened a whole new door of creativity to me. I can't wait to show you during the tutorial. Oh my gosh. So you can fit tons of photos in there, okay? Beautiful. And again, if you're viewing this on the website, the tutorials are down below. If you're viewing this on YouTube, 
I'll leave the link down to some of the supplies that I used as well as the tutorial, okay, where you can go to my website and you can go ahead and jump on and meet me right over there. Thank you everyone so much for your support. I can't wait to go hang out with you. All right, now on with the trailer. Okay, two each. So here's the two and here's the back of that. This is the wonderful, beautiful 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet. We've got all the images that we would ever need. This is a little assortment of different uh, feathers. Okay, so I want to show you something really quickly. I don't know if you noticed this about medium weight, but there's a bendy side, and then if you rotate it, it's stiffer. This direction, instead of starting up here, I'm gonna go towards this, just like that. Start again at the bottom, rotate, line that up again. Don't be hard on yourself on this part. Remember, this is handmade. And I'm gonna show you how I attach the score tape on the back. I like to use quarter inch score tape. You can go ahead and use whatever favorite adhesive it is that you want. Okay, remember this is your book. You do it your way. I'm just here to show you the basic construction and I want your imagination to just take you on your journey. Okay, we're all gonna make these different. <laughs> I'm make it as simple as possible. I'm gonna stop right here. I'm not gonna cut all the way up. And then when you're ready, let's stick it down the middle first and then go to diagonal. Let's line this guy up with the four and three quarter inch side along the top. And we're gonna score at five eighths of an inch. Back to the E pocket. Now that he's ready, I'm gonna go ahead and have this in the open position. The score mark right here is gonna line up with the top of this edge. So just right where it meets that point. And then there you have it. Okay, so I'm not gonna shove this all the way in. I'm gonna stop right where I get right there. And then I'm gonna punch it. Maybe I want the wood grain. Maybe I want that. So that's two pieces, four and a quarter by six and three eighths and then two pieces for the inside. To save paper, I'm only gonna make mine three and three quarters by six. And I'm also gonna do the same thing to my other one. I'm gonna show you three eighths mark at the edge and then I'm gonna mark in right there. Okay, so I hope you got like a little bit of an insight on the way things work. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and email me or personally message me on Facebook. Okay, so thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope to see you over there, bye.